Hi everybody, it's Beth from Yoga and Reiki Bliss. One of our community members um, asked me for a practice that he could use to help him wind down at the end of the day and prepare for a little sleep. Uh, so I came up with this practice that I've used portions of for my own self, particularly on nights where I might have trouble falling asleep or even a couple of times when I've woken up in the middle of the night and had trouble falling back to sleep. Rather than just stay in bed and stew about it, um, I either did a couple restorative yoga poses in bed or came onto my yoga mat and did a few. Um, and so I think this will be a really helpful tool, especially if you have trouble either winding down at the end of the night, letting yourself fall asleep, or even if you wake up in the middle of the night, you could do part or all of this practice. I think it would be useful to have a couple pillows uh, and a couple blankets and let's get started. <clears throat> so if you have a couple of pillows, you can sit up on a pillow or two so you can bring your pelvis upright. And let your hands just rest nice and gently, comfortably at, on your thighs. And so we're starting seated <clears throat> because sometimes it's really hard to shift from a really busy day to lying on the ground. Uh, so this is sort of a nice place to just start to get settled and grounded. Keep your spine upright. Let your chin slide back a little bit. Keep your front ribs soft. And then close your eyes or lower your gaze to the ground. And see if you can just sit, bringing your attention to your breath for 10 breaths. If you can begin to pay attention to your breath, <clears throat> paying attention throughout the whole cycle from the moment you breathe in to the moment you end. And just begin to allow your shoulders to soften. Your face to soften. And let your jaw release just a little bit. And enjoy one more breath. And staying with the rhythm of the breath, the next time you exhale, just allow your, your right ear to drop to your right shoulder. <coughs> Slowly breathe your head back up. And now just tilt it the other way, really gently. So breathe in, bring your head back up, and just turn to look over your right shoulder. As you breathe in, turn your head back to center and turn it to look the other way. So you breathe in, come back to center. Again, look over your right shoulder. And then gently drop your chin towards your chest so you're looking at the top of your right thigh. You can even take your right hand up and over to hold the back of your skull really lightly. And 
as you inhale, pick your head back up. Release your hand, turn your head. And continue to look over the other shoulder. And again, just drop your head a little bit, chin towards your chest. You're looking down at the top of your thigh and take your left hand up and over to the back of your skull really lightly. <coughs> And then as you breathe in, pick your head back up, release your hand, turn back to center. Go ahead and change the crossing of your legs. Then pick up your right hand. Have a nice feeling of reaching through the whole arm, through the fingers, and make a little side bend. Good. Keep your hips nice and heavy, sitting bones rooted. And just breathe into the expanse in your rib cage, the right side of your right lung. Stay in this little side bend and just let this arm start to weave out to the side. So it's sort of it's moving back down really slowly. You're going to keep the little side bend. Let your arm relax. And slowly move yourself back up. We'll pick up the left arm. Feel that external rotation, your palm facing the right, and then make that little side bend there. So moving really slowly, gently. <clears throat> You've had a busy enough day, so you don't need to add in any more busyness. Stay a moment more. Again, just trying to inflate the side of your lungs. And then with your next exhale, let this arm just gently reach out to the side. You can have a little bend in the elbow so you're creating softness in the joints. If you feel a little moment of release here, you can even pause. Let that arm relax. And then gently bring yourself back up. And then just take a breath or two. So there isn't a sense of rushing to the next thing. And then we'll slowly transition onto your hands and your knees. You could have a blanket under your knees. Might be really nice to give yourself that, <coughs> that extra little cushioning. So you're creating softness in your environment, your outer environment, and softness in your inner environment. Let it come onto your hands and your knees. Let your fingers have a little spread. We'll just do a couple gentle cat cows. So the next time you exhale, gently curl your tail under and round through your spine. As you breathe in, reverse it. Keep your hands planted. Keep pushing the ground away. And then curl it around. Keep the hands planted. Keep hugging the outer upper arms towards each other. Breathe in and reverse it. Moving from the pelvis through the head really gently. And let's do that one more time. Curling around. Emptying out your breath. And breathing into that little back bend, really gentle. And as you exhale, dial it back to neutral. Tuck your toes under. And a little push of the ground away. A little hug of your arms towards each other. And as you exhale, you're just going to rock your hips part way back. 
Breathe in, rock forward. And rock it back. And just keep moving like that. Right, so these little gentle movements linked with your breath. <coughs> Nothing jarring, no surprises, but can start to soothe your nervous system. Let's do one more of those. Now the next time you inhale, come back up, untuck your toes. Bring your elbows to the ground. And if you want to interlace your fingers, again, just a little gentle around the shoulders, go for it. And let your head hang and see even just let your belly release. Imagine your organs, your abdominal organs moving away from your spine. Do you think they've softened? Maybe even soften just a little bit more. Now you can stay right here or shift back into a little child's pose. You can walk a little further on your blanket. Make a little pillow with your hands. Just begin to feel the weight of your head. Feel the weight of your tail. Feel the weight of your feet. So that, that starts to help ground you a little bit and settle you. Imagine yourself getting that much heavier, just spreading out into the ground for two more breaths. And slowly roll yourself down. A little shift. <coughs> and come onto your back. Make sure you have room to the right and to the left of you. And let your feet separate about mat width. Let your arms just drift out to the sides, nice and easy. And as you exhale, you're just going to let your knees fall to the left. So a little windshield wiper twist. Stay a couple of breaths. Be breathing right into this little opening in your right low belly. Right, so letting that right lung drop, expand downward. And then when you're ready to inhale, we'll bring the knees back up. And slowly let them fall to the other side.
then when you're ready to inhale again, I'll bring the knees back up. You can heel toe your feet together. And just have a moment to feel your body, your feet, the back of your pelvis, the back of your skull, and the backs of your arms really heavy into the ground. And the next time you exhale, go ahead and roll all the way over onto your left side. Bring your knees in the same level of your hips and your ankles in the same line as your knees. So it's the 90 degree angle at the hip joint and the knee joint. Let your right arm stack on top of your left. Your right arm is going to be the moving body parts. Again, just make sure you have room around you. As you breathe in, you're going to let that right arm circle up alongside your ear and continue to circle out and open to the right, letting your chest open. And then as you exhale, you're going to circle it back the way you came. So you're retracing that little circle, that little half circle. As you breathe in, circle your arm up alongside your ear and out toward the side. Let your chest begin to open. As you exhale, circle it back. Let's do that one last time, and this time we'll stay there. You can let your arm rest on the ground or on your pillow if the ground feels far away. If your top knee needs to lift a little bit, go for it. You can even make a little fist with your other hand and rest that in there, or put a blanket in there. And slowly, as you breathe in, circle back. And then carefully roll onto your back. And over to the other side. And you do the same setup, just on the other side. So <clears throat> your knees are bent. You've got a 90 degree angle at the hip and the knee joint. Your arms are outstretched. Your top arm is going to be the moving body part. As you breathe in, let that arm circle up alongside your ear. Let your chest start to open. Let that arm start to open out to the side. Might even be on more like a diagonal. Play with that. And then as you exhale, circle it back. So just retracing your steps. So you inhale, let it open. So it's like a little gradual unwinding from this day, from this week. And this time, as you inhale and open, we'll just linger here. Again, your arm might be a little more up alongside your ear, might be a little more out. Right? So play and see where it feels delicious in your body. Maybe you feel a little opening, but it's not stressful or painful. When you try to imagine that you're creating not only a feeling of a softening with each breath, really gently breathing, soothing yourself from the inside out, but also that you can create a little quality of release, a little quality of letting go. And then <clears throat> Very gently, you'll circle back onto your side and just pause a moment to breathe. Notice any shifts in the quality of your mind, the quality of your energy, the quality of your skin, your muscles. And when you're ready, you'll slowly press your way on up. We're going to take a blanket. You can fold it. So I've got it like this. I'm just going to fold it in half one time. 
I'm going to place that parallel to the wall a few inches, so maybe like a hand's length, three, four inches. Farther away, if your muscles on the backs of your legs, your hamstring muscles or your calf muscles too, if they're feeling tight, I'm going to do a little legs up the wall pose. All right, so you'll come to sit. I like to put one hip on the blanket, one hip at the wall. I thread one arm under and I come on up. We're doing a really, really simple setup here. So in case, you know, you don't have to fuss so much with a ton of props. So you're going to organize your blanket underneath the back of your pelvis. Maybe your lowest, most rib is supported, depending on the length of your torso. Your tail, I just love to have it like curling off, just dropping into that little space between the edge of your blanket and the wall. Your arms can just come out to the sides. And just begin to allow your legs to heavy. If there's any strain in the back of your knees, you could potentially bend your knees, or if you have a couple of blankets that you can fill in the space between the wall and your thighs, you could do that too. And just begin to imagine again, with each breath out, any residual tension, strain in your feet, toes, legs, just starting to drain out, right out through your hips. Let the muscles on your back begin to soften. <clears throat> Get your arms heavy. Let your fingers release. Let your head fall back. Invite your face, thinking about the skin on your face, and your jaw, and your eyes, all of that begin to soften. And just come back to watching your breath. See if you can start to notice without consciously doing anything, so you can just start to notice the little moments between each breath, between the inhale and the exhale. You don't have to consciously put in a pause, but if you notice a little space between the inhale and the exhale, just live there for a moment. And gradually let that breathing practice fade. The pauses, if they were there, might continue to be there. Let's see if we can now just rest in this space of quiet.
the space of stillness, the space of ease. Sometime in the next breath or two, begin to bend your knees. And with an exhale, you carefully roll right on over to one side, coming off your bolster, your blanket, onto the ground, and then just pausing a moment. And then begin to feel your top hand come onto the ear. And press your way back up to sit. Now, you might decide right from here to slip into bed. If you're feeling like you're ready. Or you might decide you need a moment more. In which case, you can lie down and take Shavasana. <coughs> you can have a little pillow under your head. Maybe you roll if you, or your blanket under your head. Maybe you roll a blanket for underneath your knees. Maybe you cover up so that you're warm and cozy. In either case, I hope this practice has helped you feel a little more relaxed and down-regulated, down-shifted from your day and ready for bed. Um, if you have a moment and want to leave me your thoughts, your comments below the video, that would be so great. Um, so thank you so much for joining me. Thank you for suggesting this practice. And nighty night.